Welcome to the Detroit Arcade Club stream of uh, the Famicom Zone, and this week we are playing Rough World. It looks like that's not what it's pronounced, but I think that it was... I read that it was like a weird, uh... <clears throat> I don't know, like mistranslation, or like, not translation, but like, I don't know, whoever titled it in Japan thought that it would be like a funny pun or something if it was uh, spelled R-A-F and pronounced Rough World. I don't know. Um, normally we're do, we do Famicom Zone on Tuesday night. It's obviously Wednesday. Uh, we gave over the stream last night uh, to Fallout because that came out. And then uh, Jimmy at Nerd Coalition is still waiting on some new hardware, so we grabbed tonight's spot. Uh, we picked this one. This was recommended by uh, Pixel Polygon as like a vaguely Fallout themed game. Um, I guess the big story with this game was that it was developed as a Terminator game and then Sunsoft lost the license at the last second. So there's a lot of Terminator stuff in here. Alright, let's see. We got the. What do we want to call it? <laughs> Sparkling Sake open. Yeah. Here that's part of Okay. Oh yeah. Joined by the lovely non pom This is a lovely non pom I'm into it. Alright, now I've heard there's a code we can do. If you hit the B button. 33 times and then start, something cool happens. Let's see. What? Yep. 1, 2, two 3, four, four, five, six, six, seven, 4, 5, 6, Oh, you completely messed me up. Why? I was counting along with you. No, you were like one behind. No, <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah, I'm gonna... We're, we should play the tape tomorrow. <laughs> you know, it wasn't. Let's restart it. Hit reset. Okay, here we go. 1, one 2, two. Start. I don't think it happened. I can't count along with you. Looking, it can be distracting. Okay, here we go. I haven't played this at all. I bought it for this stream and I haven't played it yet. So let's see what's going on. After many years of space college development, Jay's father has passed away. I shouldn't. I probably don't need to read this out loud, huh? I think you're Jay. I'm not Jay. I'm Jay. We are all Jay. The news reported that Jay's father's death was an accident. Oh shit! Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty amazing looking. This came out in 1990. For reference. Like the main thing people mention when they talk about this game, like how good it is. Oh, I'm on the six. Again, I have never played this before, so I'm, this could be a really bad run. I just burped and it tastes exactly like White Castle. Ooh, look at you. Just about it. Yeah. 
Oof. Alright. There's some jumps where it seems like death is pretty much unavoidable. Or not death, but taking damage at least. Game over right there. Well, good night, everybody. <laughs> I think I gotta focus on taking less damage. That's my analysis. These ones.
So maybe with those like replenish ammo probably. Let's see what this is like. Let's go. I'm gonna turn around. This would have been a cool one to get, um, like the Hudson controller with the rapid fire. But, I don't like to tease him like that. Now one of the things that was supposed to happen with that sheet was I could change my continues from 3 to 5. Uh, I think it was continues, maybe it was lies. Uh, in any case, this I just used my second continue. seen any of the Terminator movies. So any uh, weird Terminator references here will be lost on me. Have you seen any Terminator movies? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Not intentionally. Sure. Yeah, I remember my brother was super into them. I think we saw one in the theaters. I remember marketing push around the Terminator movies uh -huh. more than I remember the right. movies themselves. I just remember going to Meyer being like amazed that there were Terminator branded like candies. Too basic. <laughs> well it was like regular it was like M and M's but like Terminator <sighs> edition. Oh right. Like everything was like limited edition Terminator. And they're like Terminator t-shirts and stuff. Mm -hmm. I actually, by complete coincidence on Twitter right before this, saw somebody who posted the movie poster for Terminator and Colon, where it was called like Electric Killing Machine. <laughs> it, was, it was a really good poster too. It's basically about a robot who goes back in time to kill a little kid and his mom is like, not on my watch, <laughs> robot. And then she fights him and then the Terminator goes back to the future. And then we get the Back to the Future movies. Oh. I always wondered if Terminator was a prequel to Back to the Future. They're kind of just all laced together. With time, yeah, right. What's even a prequel? You know? Right. I mean, time really gets flattened down to a circle with, with the uh -huh. internet and all. Perhaps not even talking about that, clearly. But what? How, how time's a construct, a man-made construct, like, you don't have to believe in. Especially when you have a one-month-old. Shit. Oh, that part is rough. <coughs> okay, let's see if I have any continues. Tell it to people. Or I guess I would have one more, right? If, look yeah. in my meeting rooms at work. There you go. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so weary. Oh, what's up, Pixel Polygon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. This game's pretty tricky, Chris. Or, you know, I don't know. Seth? Seth. <coughs> Uh, I'm just going to keep doing it because it made him mad. Seth got mad that we were using his Christian name on the Twitter stream. So, I apologize if you have a similar fear. I'll just call you Pixel Polygon. Yeah, wouldn't it be called the real name? 
you would make that as your unit. Right. Like I did. Logan Needles. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke between us. Ooh, no bad. Something about this background, this green background, is really reminiscent of something. Is it Zelda? I was gonna suggest that. I'm not sure why. Link? It's a little linky to me. Oof. Um, it looks like a similar pattern on like uh, the original Zelda like dungeons, maybe. Mm. Pixel Polygon's in a bit of a pickle with the misses, but he hasn't put <laughs> the boy to sleep yet. Get that boy to sleep. Yeah. You know boys love their sleep. Alright, I did a much better job with that little mini box than I had before. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Wait, that's a Terminator <laughs> quote, right? Right. <laughs> Very timely. Um, Takes a polygon. Yeah, it was, this, it was his recommendation that I play this game, so if anyone made that joke on purpose, it was <laughs> Picks a polygon told Seth that even though I love Japanese stuff, I can't remember how to say his candle, so he has to live with me using his government name. Yeah. I like oh, government yeah. name better than Christian. That was maybe what, what he said. I don't, yeah, I might be misquoting him. Government name. Yeah, his name's, I mean, what is it? It's like OG Kush or something? No. Oh. I know it's not that, but ooh, that guy's cool. I'm going to run away from him. I probably just didn't do that. It's like, oh... OG oh. one Oh, oh do you can. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Ah! Oh. <clears throat> Alright, this might be my last life. At which point we'll try the 33 button trick again. And I won't count. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it did throw me off the one. I think that was fine. You're really shooting daggers at me. <laughs> your eyes. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, this looks like the, uh... Oh, hold on, that's good. That looks like the, um, Light Zapper. The, the NES gun. Tank. I don't think you have what it takes to beat it. <laughs> I put that amount of way. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I gotta go all the way back. Let's see if I have a continue. Shit, I don't. Rah, okay, let's try rough. it. The 33 B button press. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44
Damn, I wonder if someone has the soundtrack online. I'm gonna check this out tomorrow. Yeah, I should make sure my uh, the navels are on. They're not. Maybe that'll make it sound better. What the hell is the navels? <laughs> Do you, for, the, for the distance look at this again, do you have to like turn off sound things like you've had to before? Mm. Listen, this one. This is like this the first happy like, one. Yeah, this one's really peppy. Yeah. You little face down a centaur with a tank for a body. It sounds like riding off from the tank after the centaur is done and like the head is, is like a crater in the desert and it's smoking. But the yeah. sun sets. That's a happy scene. <laughs> yeah, this has got to be, this is the last one, so I'll bet it's like the uh, end credits. Since you got your analog updated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mess with the sound settings, make your disk system work? Or can they just stay? No, it's all, it? it's good. It, the disk system just works now. So you're just 100% happy with this now? Yep. You have no more gripes? Yep. That's great. I mean, it didn't have a ton of gripes. It's, it's a really nice piece of hardware. It took them a long time to actually make and ship them, and it took a little extra time to push out a 2.0 update to fix a few problems, but they've been really generous about helping out, and their customer support's really good, and it's a small team, so I'm totally on board. If they put out a super analog NT that played, out, that played super games, I'd probably get on this roller coaster again. Did you buy a second one? That played super. What would you do with that one? Well, this plays in yes. I mean, Famicom and Super Famicom are totally different libraries. I got all those Super Famicom games up there. I, I would, I might do the whole thing over again because I'm really happy with this. One. Me there, I guess. All right, let's try to do a better job this time. <clears throat> we have a little practice now. It's really cold and tired in here. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a better job. Maybe not. So far, not so good. Probably going better than the first time. Oh! <laughs> Classic last words. There we go. Look at that. helicopter just drops a few guys. You just kind of run under them when they jump, but classic Mega Man style. And the helicopter goes away. Oh, so G is just gun. Just ammo straight out. Like, no matter what weapon you choose. Okay. I guess that isn't the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Alright. I think 
be safe to say that. Well, no, I did die that one. <laughs> but I think the first level I pretty much got. And I think this is only. I didn't do a ton of. Um, what's the word? Uh, Preparation. Yeah, preparation going into this. But I'm pretty sure this is only five stages. I'm sure some of these parts would be easier with some of the other weapons. Uh, but like Mega Man, I like doing these stages with your regular weapon and saving all your gun for the uh, boss. I don't know if that actually makes sense in this game. It seems like the shotgun especially would be good for some of those low enemies, like that one. Some of these hits are avoidable, but some are fine. Some are really tough. But this, this is going to be a mess. One of these guys is going to hit me. There's like almost nothing I can do about it. See, they don't even take damage unless they're up. That's this. Oh. Unfortunately, unlike um, when you die normally and get to start like partway through the level, and I continue, you start at the beginning, which, I mean, it makes sense. That's how they did difficulty at this time. But it does make it a real pain when you get right to the boss and then die in the last leg.
doing great at this. I know I'm swaying a little bit, but this is a really fun game. Don't get me wrong. Okay, to the second elevator. This is the last part of the level, but I, I have a tiny bit of health left. Try um, using a weapon. You have a crossbow? Uh, no. Not yet. Maybe you should consider using a crossbow. Yes. Is there a store? <laughs> um, no, I'm not playing up. It's you get a weapon at the end of every level, which again is whoops. Sorry. Are you supposed to be the boss with that? I don't know. I mean, I think you're supposed to use it during the level. It doesn't seem like they correspond like one to one, exactly like my command. About a little younger. Oh, Oops, that guy always gets me. Just taking damage in this stupid way. Ah. Seems like maybe I should be taking it a little slower, that maybe guys are easier to kill when you have more space between you and them. Oops. I think I could definitely jump over that one. I guess it makes more sense to Oops. Okay. This one just makes me so mad. Yes, well, that works. 
Oh god, this guy. He's in the right back. No. Is that Robocop? Shit. <laughs> as far as I know, he has no attacks. But that was enough. He just walked into me. That's pretty intense. He probably weighs a lot. He's like the big version of these guys. Not bad. Damn it. I'm drunk. <sighs> Three hits from that thing. This is. Excuse for that. The jumping doesn't feel terribly responsive. Yeah. Alright. Got a homing missile now. And that worked out pretty well last time, actually. So I think you just kind of dodge this guy's attack, so I think it's fine. Okay. Oh. oh, great. Game over right at the boss. Ugh. I gotta get through that level cleaner. I think I'm starting to make progress. Is this what you do when I'm sleeping and you're talking out loud? Uh, I haven't done one of these about you. No, I mean like... Oh, like psyching myself and like, talking strategy and stuff? When you play games, like, this is what you're like... Do you like this? What I'm sleeping? Except we're not talking a lot about it. Is this what playing games looks like? Is that... Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's like... I, you know, we have a whole... We have a whole... Or a life and I go to bed at like nine. Yeah, if you go to bed early, yeah. A little bit. It looks like a penis. Uh-huh. It really does. I was thinking about it as like a uh Don't go down there. Okay, so I remember that thing at the far left. Right, it's me. Oh, it's just me. I'm saying there's some some placement on here that's just like unavoidable. <laughs> We're doing better with those guys. to get to the boss from here without dying. I don't have to beat the boss, but if I can get there, I'll have full health going into one of the things, like. That's not a great start. That's good. I do really feel like the, the jumping's like a little uh, unresponsive. I'm trying to play my tools, but. 
that don't look like they will hurt you will really hurt you in this level. Looks like Australia. Yeah, what? <laughs> Everything kills you in Australia. Is that in Terminator? No. Probably closer to Mad Max. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, they're both probably good to Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Was he the Terminator? <laughs> no. No. That was oh, oh, Schwarzenegger. Who? See you later. Uh -huh. I probably couldn't tell because of all the makeup. Also played Kindergarten Cop. Oh yeah, and he was pregnant in that movie. Not that one, but a different movie. The one with Danny twin? Terminator. Shit. Remember when he was like your governor? What movie was that? He had a lot of roles. <laughs> Was he ever a professional wrestler? No, he was a um, like bodybuilder or like model or something. Model. Not quite a professional wrestler. What's gonna kill me here? I don't remember. Oh yeah, they come down. Ooh, ooh. -hoo -hoo. Oh, now we're going right to left. Very interesting. Do these spiders ever attack or are they just there to kill? Ugh. No, that was going over my head. Oh, I was tracking that one.
spiders too. Yeah. That one does at least. Oh, they wouldn't be spiders if they didn't shoot. Oh. Did you know that one of the ways you can tell the difference between blobs and butterflies? Because you don't know what sometimes moths look like butterflies. Uh -huh. so if you see them land, and if they land with like on a flower or whatnot, uh -huh. if they leave their wings up, they are a butterfly. Uh -huh. If they spread them out, they're a moth. Interesting. I thought so, that's why I shared it with you. <laughs> that's precisely why. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I learned something in a child's book today. <laughs> <laughs> now what are you supposed to do here? Look at this horror show. This looks like somebody made this in Mario Maker. I can't shoot these, I don't think. They're making it look like a penis. Oh, you got it. Well, I mean, I took damage. I, I took. I only took one, which feels like a big. Game. Here we're going back up. I'm not sure about this level. Pixel Polygon says, "I've said it before, but man, are the songs in this game good?" Dude, you tell me. I was going through the sound test earlier. Oh, this one. Yeah. And uh, yeah. It's great. The uh, I especially like the last song in the sound test, which I suspect is like the uh, credits theme. It's like the only kind of upbeat one, and it just sounds amazing after all these really grimy tracks. Grimy in a good way. The bass parts, especially, are fantastic. I've lost track of how many continues we've used. I rigged it to be nine continues. I suspect that we've used. Why didn't you make it so you had 99 continues? I, 9 is the max. What? Yeah. That's dumb. Even when you cheat. Why would they make it... <laughs> wait, it doesn't make sense. Why would they make 9 the max? Because there was two number slots. It was like right, zero, 0, 9. Right, 0, Yeah. Programmers. Maybe you had to put the button 33 more times. It's because of programmers. Maybe if you did it 34 times. <laughs> Yeah, I, I suspect we've used three or four at this point. So, like I said, I, th whoop, I think there's only uh, five stages. Oh, fuck that guy. Oh, that's the worst way to die. I hate that. The only time I ever get really mad at Castlevania is when I die from falling because of the stupid enemy placement. But it happens for me, so. I like the big Castlevania one that you have where you go backwards. Symphony of the Night. Yeah. Yeah. We were playing um, Rondo of Blood at Arcade Club last week. Griffin bought it. I'd never played it before. And uh, that's a really good one. Griffin Skillion? Yeah, but I don't know what to make a big deal out of that. <laughs> Skillionaire himself. That's his government name, be careful. Yes. Oops. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, you're near the end of my row, my knitting, and then oh, your support for your chat room is being oh, no. oh, turned off for the night. Every dumb so, Polygon, do you have anything you want me to relay to Logan? Now's the time. I, I did, um. Oh, fuck me. I, just, I don't know if you noticed, but, uh. I jacked the font size on the chat window up to, like, a real old man level. I thought uh, you did that for me because you know I can't read. I did that for me. I think it, I think I did it for the um, yeah. Travis's show. Well, I thought you were. Um, I mean, it's for everybody. I it was. I can't see anything without my glasses on. That was part of it. Oh.
Yeah, I was saying earlier, like, even though I'm dying a lot, and I think swearing, this is a really well-made game. And it's kind of weird, because Sunsoft, I don't know, maybe... Maybe, I just don't know, but, like, I didn't think Sunsoft was a great developer, at least at this time. Um... I can't think of a lot of, like, Sunsoft classics. He said this came out in 1990, so I think by then, like, most of, damn it, uh, most Famicom developers had a pretty good handle of the hardware. I mean, I was, what, seven years old? And that's when you start seeing the weird, like, shit, the games that really take advantage of the hardware in ways that, like, weren't intended necessarily, like, uh, Crisis Force. Um, Actually, and you know, the thing about it not being intended is actually not really true. Like, I, I posted that, there was that interview with the, the, um, shit, the lead guy in the Famicom project, who was saying, like, they purposely built things into the hardware that they knew, um, software programmers would be able to, like, use in ways they didn't anticipate. Um, and it was a really key decision. So they extended the lifespan. They put in like two processors. Like everyone thinks like Nintendo does, picks like the cheapest option to make it like accessible to the most people. But they actually spent more money that was needed to put in like um, what was that? I can't. I don't think it was processors. Uh, I think, oh, two, like, RAM modules or whatever, and so they could, like, hold more sprites. And just stuff like that, like, um, purposely building some unknowns into it so developers could do things they didn't intend. I thought it was really smart. Pixel Polygon says he dropped off, but Blaster Master is another classic. Yep. AKA Metaflight. Great original soundtrack, too, and... Gimmick 2. Yeah. I don't have gimmick. Um, it's super funny you brought that up. You brought up um, Blaster Master because before this went live, uh, Mount Palm was asking me if we were going to play a second game besides this one. And I pulled Blaster Master as like the obvious related, you know, brother from another mother game to this one. That one... Um, I just got two. I, I have actually played it a little bit. That was part of my most recent order right before you were like, buy this game. <clears throat> so I just got Blaster Master. I played it kind of one and a half times. Oh, so the pink ones are life. Oh boy, yeah, we're figuring this out. <laughs> These things you have to get so close to trigger them. Oh. It's like nearly pixel perfect. It's cool though, I've, I mean, I've been playing this... This is my first time, I mean I've been playing it, I don't know how long. Not even an hour. And... It's hard, but I do feel like I'm starting to learn how some of this stuff works. Like, Trying to avoid some shot, like instead of just blasting all the time. Learning the physics, figuring out when to wait and when to go. Do you have um, a limited what amount you of ammo? Uh, not on your regular gun. It's it's, it's pretty Mega Man esque, and that you have like your regular arm cannon, whatever, your regular blaster. It's unlimited, and then you get power-ups for beating the bosses that have limited ammo. What's different is that they all share a single ammo source in this game, instead of being weapon-specific. Oh, goodbye. Okay, goodbye.
Thank which, you for Which way should I go? Around. There's uh, wires everywhere. Yeah, walk around the city. Okay. Good night. Goodbye. I'm out. <laughs> For instance, like I know, you know, these guys shoot diagonally, so under them is safe, so I can take out the guy ahead of me before I go, and then not even worry about killing him. This part, I hate this placement. This is just Too. I hate the, the cramped quarters you get in there. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna keep plugging on this one. Let's see if we can see if we can really see the stage three boss. coming tomorrow. I was a little behind on it. Uh, so I'm looking forward to check, checking that out. I suspect that a lot of people are playing that again tonight. Um, I think I said it earlier, earlier but uh, Pix Polygon, you suggested this as a good Fallout sort of themed kind of game from this era. I can definitely see it. This would have been a great Terminator game. Like I said, I've never seen those movies, but like... A lot of licensed games weren't very good at the time. This would have been a really great one. Actually, you know, now I say it, did Sunsoft do... One or two of the Batman movie games for NES? Slash Famicom? Because a few of those are pretty good. I wonder if Sunsoft was just like super dope at movie license games for some reason. I'm not sure that's a skill that you can like, uh, oops, work on, but. Now I'm curious. I kind of want to look up like what Famicom game Sunsoft does. I was slagging them off a little bit. better maybe There is some bogus level design in this, I'm gonna have to be honest. 
plays great, it's super fun, and the music is dope, but some of the level design choices are real mean. I wonder too though if even that kind of stuff wasn't on purpose, like if the design thinking was like, well, kids have a ton of time and not a lot of money, so memorizing patterns is like a super great way to create value. I mean, that had to have been the uh, creed of like the Battletoads guys. Yeah, I wonder if some of this blind jump stuff wasn't like just an attempt to create replayability or you know longevity. Maybe. Somebody probably got a raise for making this fucking horror show. Ugh. Damn it. Those things are so hidden in the background. Man. No, you will not give me again. Yeah. Ah. Oh. better than I've done though. This has got to be near the end of the stage. It, it feels like it. Right, I see you guys down there. Yeah. You know what? Let's um, start our, little, our friend homing this though. Oh yeah. Okay, go, go get him. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That was a neat way to cheese up, right? Are you gonna take? Woohoo! Well, we can at least see it. Oh god. Okay, there's definitely a pattern here, and I have not figured it out. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> Alright. I don't think I'm gonna do much better. We at least saw the stage 3 boss. I think that's about half the game. That difficulty really ramped up in the third. Uh, but that's a really cool game. I'm super glad I got it. Thank you, Pixel Polygon, for recommending it. Ooh, that was a good one. I think that's all it's going to be tonight. Um, yeah, that was a really good playthrough. I was considering Blaster Master, but that game's too good to like play as the second game. That'll have its own night, you know? Um, thanks, um, Jimmy for letting me take over tonight. He usually does Wednesday. Tomorrow we're going to be, um, live at the dojo. 
we have uh, Kevin show on Friday. I think Saturday's off. I don't know if anyone's doing anything. And then of course, the my my favorite shows Sunday and Monday. We got Schmup Sunday with Mr. Falcon and Pixel Polygon has his own show on Monday. Really looking forward to it. I don't know what I'm doing next week on Tuesday, but I'll figure it out. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Rough World, a.k.a. Journey to Silas or whatever, a.k.a. Nearly a Terminator game. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I will be back next week.